In VeriCut 9.0, we've added the ability to add a multi-tool multi tool station to any turret. This allows you to use some of the more modern technology to add multiple tools into any tool station. To do this, you go to Project Tools and add the tools in Tool Manager. In this example, we see I have we have a right and a left hand tool already defined. What we don't have is the tool station for it. This is found in the tool menu, in the toolbar under Multi Tool Station. We add a Multi Tool Station, which has a holder. And then we define the holder. In this case, we're going to define it as a model file and browse to the model. Now that we have the model file in here, we can see in this example that there are two different tool stations on this tool. Now that we have the tools, the tool model in here, we need to define the tool positions for this. This is done by adding a component, a tool attachment component. This tool attachment component will tell the tool where to attach at. So in this case, we plug in the position where the tool is going to attach into this cut into this clamping unit. And once the numbers are keyed in, you see the tool attachment snaps to position. So we'll repeat this for the second tool. Key in the numbers. You can key either key in the numbers or select positions on the, on the model itself. Now that this is in, we save the file to save the tool positions. And, and now we need to add it to the turret. So to do this, we go back to the, our project menu to turret setup. And we see that it snaps into position because it's tool one going into position one on the turret. So I will simply redo this to see and let you see how this is done. I select tool one, which is my cutting unit, I'm sorry, my clamping unit. And then there are the two tool attachment points. And so I select which tools go into which positions on the cut on the clamping unit. And then we need to reposition the clamping unit so that it fits in the right position on the turret. To do this, we select and we show this simply needs to be rotated. We select, show the center rotation, and then rotate the tool accordingly. Now that the tool, now the clamping unit is in the right position, the tools are in the right, attached to the right position on the clamping unit, we can simply close turret setup and then have everything update. And as we can see, as we go back into our main view, the tools are now attached in the right position on the turret.